You're really not going to let me go to college? Hi, Tanner. What, we need to end this discussion right now. We, this oh, yeah, you can go to West Georgia and, and live at home. Yeah, sure. Tanner, Tanner. Which we had agreed closed. upon for the last uh, 17 years. We agreed upon that. That's the only thing we agreed upon, that we're going to go to West Georgia and live at home. In fact, somebody that lives close to that close to West Georgia has no business living on campus. That's stupid and a waste of time and money. Well, you could drive it that quick. You just want to get out and get your freedom is what you want, buddy. You, why don't you just call an ace and ace and a spade and spade? You want to be free. You want to run with the world and do the things in the world. Quit, quit blaming it on all this other stuff. The truth is no burden on you. You just want in the world and to have a good time and everybody knows it. And all your fake stuff, just like Joe, is because you wanted something else big time. You want the world. I'm not allowed to believe differently than you. I, I can't. You just want the world, son. I've, I've seen enough like kids. You need to be quiet. Yeah, I've seen enough kids, Joe. I've raised enough kids. I've watched enough kids for 30 years to the truth. And all it boils down to is they want the world. And they'll make up anything they can find wrong with the truth so they can add the world. Because if you sat down with the elders right now, they could... They could do circles around your evolution thing really? and show you where it's a bunch of crap. Oh, really? And they could show you where the truth is the truth of anything you got to show them that's not a duplication or an error. They could do it in about a heartbeat. But you don't want to do that. You're horrified to sit down with the elders. You are terrified. I never see anybody so terrified I'm to sit with the elders that, because you want to go out and have fun. And that's the bottom line, Tanner. And we all know it. So you can lie all you want to. But the bottom line is. Because you could not believe in the truth. You could even live at home at 18 not go into the truth if you don't want to, but you're minimal. You want the world. Be honest. That gives you a right to hit me? Can you hit me? Yeah, yeah. when you call me a liar, I'll slap you silly. And if you say it again, I'll slap the other side. You're gonna don't you me. ever call me a liar again. Who do you think you are? You don't talk to your parents that way. You do not talk to your parents that way. And you call child services. Nothing would be better for me than to take you down to juvie and let you sit. Because that's where you will sit, son, until you're 16. Not at Joe's. 16. You need to go sit there a while, I think. Do me the favor, I should call. Honey, can you please calm down? Please? Honey, I don't care. This is a spoiled, rotten, awful okay. brat. Can you please? Calm you down. know, you told me he's a spoiled, rotten brat. I'm an atheist. You won't be anymore. You won't be going on any trips or any shopping trips. I buy you nothing from now. You need clothes, you need shoes. Buy them yourself. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I'm just telling you the rules of the game from now. If he's going to be a worldly person, he could just go on and take care of his worldly needs. I owe him nothing. All our kindnesses and all our goodness to us, and, and, and everything we've done for him, and this is the way we give each other. This is the exact way we get repaid. I shouldn't have to do something to believe in. Even though you took me to Europe and you had me and you didn't plan me, I was your boy too, Mother. I, uh, yeah, Mother had you. Yeah, and it wasn't really anything I wanted to really do at 42, but I had you, son. We do things sometimes we don't want to do, but we do them, and we do them with a good attitude. But I have to, I can't say it. The truth is doing this. I have freedom to religion. I do. I have freedom to abortion. I do. So you want to abort, you wanted to abort me? I had you at 42, and every doctor I had was saying I don't need to have you. need to use some common sense, son, and you're just... You're here, aren't you? Son, I have every reason in the world to be so mad with you. I don't know what to do. You have done the worst of any of our children because at least Casey's came to your face and said what he was doing. I did. And not only that, but Casey never has said it wasn't the truth. Because it's not. He didn't try to use it not being an excuse for his wrongs. It's not. Yeah, you just keep on. But I've never seen you work. Any, I've never seen you work in any effort to see if it was the truth. Sixteen. And has he worked in any effort?
effort really to see if it would. It's not, what, I'm not going to continue this discussion when we get home. You and I are going to go and have some private talk. But it would be best for everybody as the car is a confined place. There's a lot of hollering and screaming going on. Which, if you believe in the Bible, and what Jehovah says, do not be swept. No. And that applies to everybody, but including me. If, there, if things can't go on this way, Ken, they cannot go on this way as long as I feel the way I do about this child. So one of us is probably going to have to be leaving soon unless things really change. Because I can't do this. I, I'm not going to spend the next six months or eight months or whatever with the child with this attitude. I won't do it. I will not do it. I refuse. Oh, child services! I got a little liar and she hit me. She beat me. That's what it turns into. Talking. She beat me. I didn't do anything. I think you'll pick me. Yeah, I can't see. Do have places you can send children to sleep? I, I don't uh, want to uh, deal with it. You know, it. I don't want to deal with it. This talk is not productive. I don't you want to send me it. somewhere else? Tanner, Tanner, be to quiet. a mental institution Tanner, is what I'm thinking. Tanner, be quiet. We can check you in a mental institution because I know for a fact you have mental issues. Because I'm an atheist. And when you have all those mental issues when you're in college too, don't call me. And Joe ain't going to help you either. I can tell you that right now. He's got a life of his own. Just stick your anxiety and all your other medicine problems you're on your own. And I can assure you, you're going to need to be on some meds. You're not going to help me? I know you're going to be on some meds. I just know how it's going. And you're going to need meds. And you're on your own, bud. And don't bother calling your sister Kirsten because after you've done this, she ain't going to want to talk to you either. <laughs> and, Ken, I'm not going to wait six to eight months to tell them what their brothers do. They need to know now. They're part of this family and they need to know. You know, I might say that, but Ashley and Bill have always seemed to bad for me. They've always tried to warn me. Thank you.